Hello, everybody. Uh, long time no see. Um, this is the first video I have made in, I believe, I, if I'm doing my math right, it should be over a year, um, where I've actually, like, talked, and it hasn't just been <laughs> a typing test. Uh, I want to talk about this mouse right here. Um, and before I get too much into this, I do want to say that I will do, like, a channel update thing at the end of this video. Uh, and kind of tell you guys where stuff is headed. Um, so first off, this mouse uh, is my main mouse. It is not plugged in right now. Um, you can't tell from this angle, uh, but I have moved, um, and I just like started unpacking and stuff. So uh, my setup is not <laughs> fully set up, and that is why I'm using my MX Master 3, uh, and why I have this, my favorite mouse, uh, still kind of packed up. So. Um, I have been using this mouse as a main mouse for over a year now, um, and although I have not been playing, like, Overwatch and my other competitive games to, uh, the rates that I normally do, I still have, and it's still a year of using this mouse, right? So, uh, I just kind of wanted to come on and talk about this mouse, as, uh, I believe when I kind of stopped making videos, I had just, just picked it up. First off, this cable um, is amazing. Uh, I forget exactly where I got it from. I believe it was it was not pair of cables. Um, cannot for the life of me remember where I got this cable from. But if I remember, it will be in the description. Really, really good cable. Um, it is the most flexible paracord cable I have ever used. Um, I also I do I I've always had a soft spot for the like clear USB things. I just like it when my peripherals have uh, like vastly different ports to everything else. Um, I know my keyboard one is just like black heat shrink and it just makes plugging things, uh, unplugging things and uh, plugging things back in at the back of my computer really easy because um, with my cable management it's not easy to tell always. So this makes it really easy. Um, yeah, the cable itself has been incredible. Um, I have a cat who will occasionally uh, bat at the mouse and the cable. Um, and the fact that this cable has been, has like held up so, so well, uh, is really, really good. Um, like a year of my use with this cable, uh, is probably similar to like two years of someone without my little rambunctious cat. So the cable durability wise, I think is incredible. Um, it also like still feels like it did when I got it. Um, and it also, it doesn't really kink. It doesn't get, uh, twisted at all like as you can see it is still lying basically completely straight there's this oh my god there's this little twist here and i just kind of straighten it out um like it's, it's not getting twists in it um yeah it's incredible the skates if i remember correctly they were a brand that i was like using for the first time i think they might be tiger ice um i've replaced them once uh, six months ago um, and they've been they've been they've been wonderful they've been quite good there's a little cat hair stuck in the sensor. <laughs> um, yeah, the skates have been really nice. They've been super, super smooth. I've been using a combination of this uh, GameGenic Radar. This is the V2, but it's like the first batch of the V2. Um, this one I actually like pre-ordered back when the V2 just came out. So um, I don't know if they've changed up the recipe since then. The, uh, the feet have been very good on this sort of like slower, smoother mat. Um, they've also been very good on the Hien. Uh, th that's kind of the du duality <laughs> of mats in terms of smoothness. Um, and it's been it's been pretty nice on both of those. I don't know how well these specific skates would do if you are a super low sensitivity player. I'm a very low sensitivity player. Um, and it works fine for me. But if you're like incredibly low sense, it might not be good. If you're also in the middle ground, it might not be good. Because these feet, what I really like about them, specifically on these mouse pads, of course, is that once you get going, it's incredibly smooth, but it has a little bit of stopping force. Um, but if you're a player where you're doing a lot of small movements, they, they might not be the best for you. But you also will probably be using a different mouse pad if that's your, if that's your play style. Um, yeah. So the feet and the cable, the things that I added to it, have both been very, very good, and I highly recommend. In terms of the mouse itself, the shape is, is incredible. Like... It fits in my hand so comfortably. It uh, I'm not actually holding this in the right spot half the time. It fits in my hand very, very comfortably. The gloss has not started to like chip or fade at all. Um, the clicks 
I, here I'll do a low click test. So this is left click. This is right click. This is scroll up. This is scroll down. This is middle click. This is forward button. And this is backward button. Uh, and I have not gone back and watched my original video of this, but I'm still using the same microphone. Um, so if you go back on back on my channel, you'll be able to see that video. Sorry about that car. <laughs> uh, part of moving is I have moved from a third floor apartment um, to a first floor duplex, uh, and therefore I hear a lot more things like that. And I have my window open, of course, because it's. Uh, it is August in Washington, so it is it is plenty, plenty warm. Um, but yeah, so this, well, it's plenty warm, and we also have to have windows open and fans on because we don't have air conditioning in the state. Uh, but yeah, so the clicks still feel wonderful. I still feel that these clicks are good enough to use as like a main browsing mouse. This mouse is about like, it is just, just good enough to use as a, as a main mouse. It's like the Zowie mice. I still recommend you get a secondary mouse, um, but this one is just good enough that you can use on its own. The shape is amazing. All of the buttons are really, really good still. Uh, the the back button has always been a bit mushy towards the end, and I think that's just because of the design. Uh, but apart from that, the forward and back are just incredible, and they feel near... As long as you're not pressing the back button on the far back of it, the front and back buttons still feel the same, which is wonderful, and they feel identical to each other. And the placement is just amazing. Something that... I don't know if I touched on this in my original review, but something that I really come to enjoy about this mouse is just how perfect the mouse placement is because like th this is where my thumb naturally rests when I'm not clicking clicking a button if I want to go forward I lift up and I have to like intentionally hit it right but the back button I can kind of just roll my thumb onto which is really really nice uh, and that means that when you're playing a game you can like very easily bind things to this and it's super super good uh, and then you're going to have one that you can sort of just roll your thumb onto and another button that you have to hit more intentionally um, for overwatch this is my melee this is my one of my abilities so I can just kind of roll my finger out of the melee. Um, I feel like I've somewhat <laughs> lost my touch with these type of videos. Um, I the the mouse the mouse is good. I think the mouse is good. I kind of forget all the things I used to talk about with these, seeing as I have not thought about a mouse like this in over a year now. But um, this this mouse is is incredible. I've had it for a year. I have no intention on uh, replacing it. I know Baxi uh, just made or Zygen powered by Vaxi, but it's a side it's, it's, it's power, uh, right there. Powered by Vaxi. It's not gonna show up on the camera because I'm using a shitty webcam. Um, but yeah, I know, they, I know the company that makes this is coming out with another mouse and maybe I might try that one out, but honestly, I have been incredibly happy with my, uh, I believe this is the Vaxi Zygen NP01, that is it. I did not get the small. I specifically got the medium, which I've been very happy with. Um, if I got the small, I think it'd be a bit too small for my hands. This one is a really nice size, and it's like it's marketed as like a large, but it's not a large. It's um, over here. I do have my uh, G Pro X Super Light, and it's like it is smaller than a G Pro X Super Light. Obviously, these are not super super scientific uh, measurements, but gen generally speaking, it is smaller than a mouse that is typically considered to be a medium mouse. So yeah, um, that is it for the mouse review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are a first time viewer or simply are not interested in the channel update, you are free to click off now and I will say thank you for watching. Uh, in terms of the channel update, um, I am not actually planning on returning to making videos regularly um, at any point. Uh, I've been thinking about it over the last year in terms of the, re like the reasons that I left have kind of been resolved, but I just don't actually have the want to to try out mice and, and uh, make videos for that again um i might make more keyboard videos um keyboards are something that i have been uh still interested in um but yeah i i appreciate I've, the the few times that i have made videos since i kind of stepped away oh and my camera has frozen um hopefully it is still recording but at this point i'm kind of just talking so if the camera is frozen that's okay um, yeah, when I, like the reasons that made me want to step away from making videos have since been resolved, but I just don't really have the interest, uh, in making videos that I used to. 
Um, I plan on using this channel for something or another. Um, I, I do enjoy making videos occasionally, and I think that I kind of might just post content, uh, miscellaneous content that I'm interested in. Um, I've had the, I've been getting back into uh, collecting cards, collecting trading card games, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon Magic, um, and I've been uh, I've been wanting to make a video, kind of just talking about my collection a bit, because I, I I collect silly cards. Um, I obviously like I play Magic competitively, and I have plenty of valuable cards, but then I also just have cards that I think like have funny art or something, um, and I think I might make videos talking about those. But yeah, I think that. Um, I, d I don't think that I'm going to be returning to uh, mouse and keyboard content. Definitely not mouse content. Um, so if that is what you were here for, I apologize. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I hope that I hope that you guys are interested in this <laughs> in similar things uh, as as I am, and I will plan to post content about those things. Um, I won't commit to any sort of schedule, but. Um, something like it's it's a, it's a reasonable thing to look forward to um so yeah if you are interested in non uh peripheral content uh, feel free to stick around if you want to unsubscribe I, I won't be hurt um i remember i used to think the subscriber count on this channel was super cool um but if if you want to unsubscribe that's totally cool um i appreciate all the support that i've gotten when i've talked about this uh predicament over the last year, um, and I just want to say thank you for that, um, but yeah, sorry if this video <laughs> did not end the way that you were hoping, um, but yeah, nonetheless, I hope that you guys all enjoyed, uh, thank you for watching, um, if you are interested in non-keyboard mouse and mouse pad related things, feel free to subscribe, uh, and yeah, I will see you guys around, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not later this week, maybe not later this month, but, uh, definitely sometime in the near future, all right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.